Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, I'm here with Tom Moore and uh, he and I are going to try to do a little tutorial on how to use the application called When is Good. And the bottom line is this app allows you to put in your availability over many days and um, times. You, so you, you put in your availability and then you invite folks to put their availability in and guess what? It's a matching process. Ultimately, you hope you find one spot it's perfect for everybody to have a meeting. So I found this tool to be incredibly valuable. So <clears throat> Tom, I'm, I'm gonna take you through step by step here. And always the, the very first step is to get an account. Now the, <clears throat> the address is actually very simple. It's just, you can see it up here, when is good.net. I mean, that's really simple, okay? Yes, great. So just kind of record that somewhere and you know, type it in. And bottom line, when you get to this website, the very first thing you want to do on the bottom here is click on Get Account. So you will enter your email and your password. Now, this is a free account. I want to, I want to um, accentuate that. It's free to use. I've used it for now a year, and it's been great. Uh, there's nothing I really need to buy. I don't need a premium subscription or any of that stuff. So the free, the freeware works really, really, really well. Mm. So you'll, I promise, or you promise, you'll do those two steps after we uh, stop this uh, tutorial, right? Right. Okay, great. So I'm going to back up here. And just like a cooking <laughs> show, I already have an account. <laughs> so I'm going to pull it out of the oven and I'm going to log in here. And of course, I have LastPass, so I can just kind of click on my LastPass link and log me in. Can't survive without LastPass, strongly recommended. Also, freeware. Now, I have logged into, and I know it's kind of small, it's not real big text, but hopefully you can see it. Can you see it okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So up on the top right, it shows my email address, your account, login, frequently asked questions. There's a video, by the way, once you create an account, um, there is a video that you can actually watch, although it requires Flash Player, which is kind of a no-no in this day and age because of the mm -hmm. security risks, but it's there. So if I go back to my account, all right, I'll click on my account here. Let me go back, hit the back button. There we go. I'll log back in again. So what you're gonna see here is an actual event that I'm running right now once it logs in, assuming we can get my machine to log in. <laughs> We're kind of beset by problems here today. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pause the um, recording until that logs in properly here. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now I have gone back into my when is good account, which I set up earlier. And uh, I wanna actually kind of show you at the top right, there's a choice, it's a little hard to see, called new event. Yep. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna click that. Now, New event allows you to start the processing to build an event, which you will then send link out to other people that you want to invite to this event. Now, because um, I already have one up and running, what I thought I would do is take you through that event to show you how it works. This is an actual event that I'm organizing. And then I'm gonna come through here uh, and allow you to build an event. So let me go back to my account. And what you have here, this was created December 9th, just uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, when the event is created, when is good assigns a link to it that people click on to go fill out their, um, their forms, okay? So you, you put a name in for your event. Um, I'm having a meeting with my uh, community choice aggregation group, Penfield. Uh, and then um, as people fill the survey out, you will see results start to gather here. Notice it says three so far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The next link is to edit the event. 
And finally, you can delete and detach this event to save it and that it's no longer uh, able to be added to. So what I'm gonna do is go into three so far just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Now this is pretty cool. This is actually, this is actually perfection. This is 100% Tom. <laughs> okay. I, I invited three people, Megan, Katie, and Chris, hoping to find one block of 90 minutes that all of us could meet. What do you think? That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> yeah. This is actually, I just, I just committed, confirmed this event. It's, it's on. <laughs> but these, all these times that I'm seeing here and dates. Now <laughs> we're going to, I'm going to tell you how this works. So what I'm showing you is the end product of the cooking show. Now we'll tell you how we, how we made the, 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 the meal. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to uh, my account and I'm going to click edit, edit, edit. So you can, you can actually change the event almost at any time. Okay. Now, uh, you see here a set of days from the 12th to the 20th, right? Yep. I picked those days, Tom. And you see where it's painted green here? Right. That's my availability. So I'm choosing the date ranges, the time ranges, mm -hmm. and I'm stating when I'm free. Mm -hmm. That begins the process. Now, down here, I put in a title for this event, touch base, check meeting for before year end, okay. Over here I have show options and the options are the magic. This is what does everything, okay. So if you look at this, I, I first chose the beginning date, right? Yes. December 12th. Yep. Then I chose the ending date, December 20th because I want a meeting before the, the Christmas and uh, holidays. Mm -hmm. Then there's a show days and you can remove, for example, you could say, I don't really want a meeting on a weekend. So you would uncheck Saturday and Sunday in that case. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you put in, what are your prime hours? So I'm saying, you know, because I'm retired, I can have a nine o'clock meeting and I can go till nine at night. No problem. I'm going to give them a very wide availability. Now, this isn't, this is not actually your availability. This is just the range of times you want to present. Right. Make sense? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Under highlight, there might be a set of times. Maybe you prefer the afternoon to evening times. What when is good will do is it will bold those choices for times. So it's really showing kind of your preferred time, mm -hmm. drawing the eye to those times. Okay. So that's what the green is? Is that what you're well, saying? Well, no, no, not the green yet. So what I want to do is, you know, as you're building this grid, you, you click update grid, and you'll notice from one to nine just turn bold. And also okay. if I had, if I had extended it, say, one more day to the 21st and then hit update grid, what did it do, Tom? It, it showed the emboldened uh, right. times. And, and no. And. now I come in and I indicate by painting. See what I'm doing? Yes. Oh. Now, how, did you get it, how did you get it to paint? What did you just click, do? Click the mouse and hold it and draw it down. Oh, okay. Or individually click individual times. <laughs> but it's a whole lot faster to just click, hold, and draw down. Yeah, I see. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Yeah. So you're choosing the date range, mm -hmm. time ranges, yep. preferred time ranges, and then you're clicking update grid. Now, because this is actually in process, I better fix this. <laughs> I didn't really offer the twenty the twenty first to my folks, so I'm going to hit update grid again. Right, I'm changing the times, mm -hmm. and that day is now gone. Okay, even in the middle, even in the middle of uh, sending this link out, you can make changes, even before everybody's completed it. 
Not that you would do that. It wouldn't make a lot of sense, but it's possible. Okay. So, so far so good. I've set my show hours, my mm -hmm. highlighted hours, mm -hmm. and uh, basically when is good has created the link here. It's automatically put in a link that will lead right back to this particular survey mm -hmm. available times. And we'll see how we actually can use that to generate an email in just a minute. Then uh, it creates text automatically and it says below are the proposed time slots for the event, paint over all that are good for you. Basically use your mouse, select the times when you can meet. This is the person, the person who is looking at it after you've created it is selecting and painting. Yes. 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 Okay. You'll be sending this link and they're gonna get a, a, a view um, well, we'll see the view in, in just a moment. I'll actually sh sh take you to what the view looks like in just a moment that when you send it out. Next thing you do is to establish how long the meeting is. Notice I have 90 minutes. Okay, I could have two hours, one day. Well, that's kind of ridiculous. I want to have a one day meeting. Um, and then th there's a choice to hide dates. Well, I don't do that. I want to show the dates to the people. These dates up here, December 12th through 20th. I want to show those dates so I don't hide them. And send alerts, this is really cool. What happens is, because you're the owner of the account and you've logged in your, your email address, Tom, mm -hmm. uh, it will send, every time somebody completes the survey and fills it out, submits it, you get an email notifying you. you so now you know who's actually responded okay. and you know it alerts you to, should I go in and check to see how we're doing? Yeah, so you know the progress. Correct, 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 exactly. So once uh, once you do all of this, you fill in this options down below. Oh, and there's one other option I didn't talk about at the very top, top right. Um, you can display this grid in 15 minute, 30 minute, 60 minute, or one day intervals. Mm -hmm. For me, the 30 minutes are the most valuable because I usually you know, plan for a one hour, an hour and a half, or a two hour meeting. Mm -hmm. But if you want to use 15 minutes, you can do that. And if you click 15, look what happens to the grid. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you click 30, that's just right. If you click 60, not going to really cut it for a 90 minute meeting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So I did 30, 30 minute grid. Uh, time frames and looking for hoping hoping to find three contiguous blocks where everybody could meet, which I, which I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now that's how you create it. Once you fill all this in and you paint your own availability, you have to remember to put in your available times. Then you click save changes. Okay. Okay. Good so far. Good so far. Yeah. All right. Now, I'm going to take you back to my account. Remember, this is an active when is good survey. And it's running slow again, so I'm going to pause. OK, so now I'm back and I've created, effectively created an event. And if I go to the results, notice there are three particular people who have filled it out. So there's the grid of my times, and now we can analyze the results. And this is really sweet. This is just gorgeous, you know, basically. Wherever you see a couple of dots, that means there's two people that could not attend this meeting. And if you click on it, it actually tells you the people that cannot make it. Mm. How does it get any better? Okay. Now, now how did you just do that? You, um, so like, up here in the upper right hand corner, I saw that you had indicated who it was uh, who cannot make it for the for the times that were dotted with two dots. Well, all I did was I went to a particular time slot, like two o'clock on Saturday the 14th, and I clicked on it. Oh, and I see. Okay. okay. All three people cannot make it, but there's even a better, there's a better way to do this. Um, if, if you just hover over any time slot, notice on the, where it says um, response, left on the left, see what's yep. happening? Yep. It's telling yep. you who can and who cannot make it. Wow. And then notice 
Thursday the 19th at 1 o'clock, 1.30, and 2 o'clock. Yeah, they're all green. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, it, that is. That's very cool. It is. I've never I had you like this better than Doodle. I mean, th this, is, this is the best possible example I could ever have shown you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is wonderful. So um, uh, up on the top left here, there's something called Send More Invites. And what that will do is it will open up your email. I'm not going to, I don't have email on this machine, but it would open up your email mm -hmm. with the message and the link. And then you just fill it in, add your own text and hit send. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And there's an edit event and, you know, so forth. Now I'm going to go back to my account and show you one more thing here. Okay running real slow okay so I've gone back to my account and uh, I know Tom you had a, a comment about uh, about when is good so far yeah well it's just it, it's so cool how you can look at the the grid and you can just hover over uh, you know certain times and find out instantly who it is that's available and who is not and uh, you know why that's important? I'm going to tell you why that's important. You might have invited eight people, but there are six people that you really have to have in this meeting. Yeah. You're going to look for the time where the two people you could do without have a conflict and the six people you need are there. And then you're going to choose that time. Right. Right. I, I know it sounds a little uh, harsh, <laughs> but let me tell you, that's the way this thing works. Mm. You know, you've invited eight, you need five really critical people. You look for those five. When you mm -hmm. find them, you make the meeting. <laughs> it's lovely. It's just, you know, you can just go back and forth and it's right there on that one page, that one exactly. window. And you can not analyze jumping. your best meeting time yeah. in a heartbeat. Yeah. Okay, now one more thing. This is the actual link uh, of the meeting. I'm gonna click on that because this shows you this shows you what the end user sees, Tom. So now I come in and I start painting my availability. I type in my name. Any comment that I have, and then I click submit. Okay, that's what the user sees. They are picking their times when they're available. Okay, that makes mm -hmm. sense? Yep. yep. Okay, good. Uh, let me go back to account. Uh, so I will not submit this, but that's precisely what they will see. Mm -hmm. And, you know, also that's allowing you to verify what the form looks like before you email it out if you want to. But I've, it's been really good all, all the way along. So, um, okay. Let me pause here. Okay. Okay, Tom, so that is my little uh, tutorial or trip through the steps to uh, create a when is good survey and send it out to your meeting attendees. And then also interpret it. And I will hope for you to get results like you see on the screen right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to testing it out and, and seeing how many people will respond and, and if I can do this. The so cool. Yeah. Great. And thank you for helping to create the recording. And uh, it'll be up on YouTube here fairly shortly. And let me know if you find it to be valuable for, um, for, for learning this, this amazingly good tool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. by the way, did I, did I say it's free? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Tom. Thank you, El.